Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 13th GIMP tutorial. Today, I'm going to be talking about some more of the tools in GIMP that I didn't tell you about before. So let's get started. So, um, this tool right here to the next, um, to the right of uh, the uh, zoom tool, and the next one is the measure tool. Now, um, to measure with the measure tool, all you got to do is click in one area, and then drag all the way to another. Now, um, these points right here, you can um, adjust them if you want. Um, but anyway, in this bar right here, you're going to see a bunch of statistics. Um, the first thing right here, 2,000 and whatever pixels, is how long this line is, or the distance between these two points. So, um... Um, 54.92 degrees is the angle of um, this line right here so as you can see this curve um, is the actual angle um, so these measurements um, 1347 times 1918 is exactly how um, well the first one is how far apart these points are on a horizontal level so um if you like if these were both on the same line th this is how um, far apart they would be and the same thing with the 1918 that is how far they would be vertically if they were on the same line up and down so um, you can also think about it like if these two points were the opposite corners of a rectangle the this would be the exact measurements of that rectangle so um, that's what the measure tool does and also you can uh, click this thing use info window all it does is have this like annoying window pop up and tell you um, stuff so anyway uh, moving on there is the dodge and burn tool um, what this is gonna do is um, dodging part of an image ma means making it lighter and burning it makes part of it darker so anyway um, it's on dodge right now so it's just going to um like just make it lighter and also you can go to burn and do it but if you want to switch between the two so if you have a one and you want to use the opposite all you have to do is hold down control um so if i hold down control it's going to go to burn now if it's already on burn it's also going to um go to dodge whenever i hit control so that's what that's going to do um there is the range right here um, this means like what type of um, like what type of pixels it's going to um, modify so um, the shadows if you click this it's only going to um, like modify the darkest pixels um, that you um, went over if you have mint tones it's just gonna be like you know um, like average pixels but if you have highlights it's going to be like the highlights or the pixels like really close to white um you know the lightest ones so that's what that's going to do um if you only want to like modify a shadow or something you can put it on shadows or whatever but um this thing down here exposure what this means is how powerful or how dark or um light it's going to make it so um as you can see I um, dodged part of this with exposure of 50, but if I put it on an exposure of 100, it's going to um, make it a lot lighter as you can um, see right here. Uh, let me see. Um, you might not be able to see it that well, so I'm just going to do an exaggeration. Um, this is exposure 15.7 versus exposure 100, so um, yeah, and this is darker than this which is darker than this so um that's how that goes let me just put this on 50 again okay and um let me see oh yeah i'm going to talk about the uh, smudge tool and the blur tool now the uh, smudge tool is different than the blur tool now a smudge tool is going to um like take um, this or whatever um, I uh, put it over and it's going to like super impose it a bunch of times and it's going to like fade it out while it does it so it's going to make this really weird effect right here so anyway um, yeah that's, so that's what smudging does you can also change the rate or how powerful it's going to um, be so if I have a rate of 100 it's going to take it and then it's just going to like 
copy it a whole bunch of times, which, by the way, is exactly like when we had the clone tool with a uh, fixed alignment. It is the exact same thing. So anyway, um, let me see. Um, yeah, I think then there's a bunch of whole, you know, basic brush settings right here. Then um, the blur tool or the sh and the sharpen tool. Um, again, you can switch between the two by holding Control if you want. Um, what it's going to do if I blur this uh, part of the image, it's just going to take the quality of it and then it's going to um, like lower it a lot. So yeah, or um, it's also known as blurring it, I guess. So anyway, it also has a rate a rate of 100 will mean it's gonna make it really blurry. So as you can see, this is before and after. Um, as you can see, there is a huge difference here. And also, um, sure, um, there's this, I'm just gonna um, put this back to 50. Well, there's a sharpen, but um, this sh um, sharpen tool is a very horrible tool. Um, it shouldn't even really be in GIMP. I'm just going to show you what it does. If you go over an area with the sharpen tool a whole lot, it's going to like um, do weird stuff and it's going to pixelate a lot. I'm going to put it on a rate of 100 just so you can see. Um, there, uh, rate of 100, it makes this really pixelated stuff I am I would suggest never using the the most sharpen tool it's just like this is a horror story of um of a tool so um anyway I'm just gonna uh, undo everything so I think that is it for this tutorial um yeah I covered everything I think so um that is it for this tutorial I will see you in the next one